what a beautiful day on the sand dunes. So we thought today was a great day to come out and play in the sand with our, our van for its first real off-road excursion. Yeah! So uh, since we talked last, we've gotten this bumper from Coastal Off-Road completely installed. We've got the uh, Light Force Venom lights completely wired up, along with the Rock 40 lights in the corner. Our Warren Xeon 8S is all set up, ready for pulling duty. And then, most importantly today, we have this super stout Coastal Off-Road skid plate installed on our L400 Space Gear. So this guy has been a, a, a nice piece to have in the sand and anywhere else off-road, simply because it's protecting some of the real vital components underneath the van. That includes things like the oil filter, the oil pan, etc. So when you're even out here in the sand and you might come across a stump or a berm or something, you don't have to worry about it possibly getting hung up on something. So beautiful day out here on the sand and uh, we're really having a good time with our van. So at the back of the van, We've got our Coastal Off-Road setup fully accessorized right now. So on the spare tire, we have a set of Max Tracks being held on by one of their handy Max Tracks holders. On the spare tire, on this side of the spare tire, I should say, we have the jerry can holder from Coastal Off-Road with a wave in water can. So why aren't we carrying fuel instead of water? Well, we also just installed a brand new 125 liter, which is about 33 gallons, uh, long range automotive tank brought in through Long Range America. That allows us to carry a lot more fuel. So we don't need to carry extra fuel here. We're carrying it under there. So this whole deal, all this stuff easily opens up. You've got a lever here that simply undoes like that. Then there's a T-handle here. And the whole works opens up just like that. So we've got room for our BF Goodrich KR2, we've got our Max Tracks, we've got our water, and underneath there we have our fuel. So also of note, recovery points. We've got an integrated hitch uh, receiver uh, that is perfect for our uh, shockle receiver bracket. We've got two welded eyelets for shockles should we need to be pulled out that way. Uh, and then these are actually going to get some reflectors here shortly. But overall, this is a really, really handy setup and it's gonna be really versatile for traveling and off-roading at the same time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Crankshaft Culture YouTube channel.